This season is Thanksgiving. It's a time to gather together, to be with friends and family, to share a meal and time. And so this Thanksgiving season, from a faith perspective, I hope you will consider marking it with Thanksgiving eyes. Now, Thanksgiving eyes are perhaps a different way to consider the holiday. Use your time together to look around. Look around the table, look around the room. See the people that are beside you, but also be aware of those that are absent. When we give thanks for things, what we're doing is giving thanks for their presence, for people's laughter, for the stories, and for the food. But we're also thankful for those that maybe taught us what Thanksgiving means, that shared with us over the years why this is important to be together, why it's a special holiday. So may your prayers and your time together be shaped by Thanksgiving eyes. But a second point with that, as you look around that table, as you look around at the stores and the city, be mindful of what you have, be mindful of what you're receiving and sharing, but also be mindful that others lack some of those same items. And perhaps your Thanksgiving eyes are ones that suddenly see the water that comes from your faucet that's clean and drinking water might not be available in other places. Maybe the food that's set on the table is not available or not as plentiful for other people. May your Thanksgiving faithful eyes then look beyond this one day in November and consider ways that others could benefit from active, faithful engagement to provide them water, food, family, safety. Seeing the Thanksgiving holiday that way makes it more than just a one-time event and more than just a gathering in one home, but connects you with people the world over. And in that, suddenly your Thanksgiving eyes are seen as God's eyes also see. And that would be a true blessing this season.